What's up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today I have another World of Warcraft gold farm for you guys today. And as you can probably tell um, where we're at in the video right now, we are actually at Black Rock Spire. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that don't know exactly where that's at, so you guys can figure out where the farm is. So today we're in Burning Steeps. At, Black, at the entrance of Black Rock Mountain right now, which is in the Eastern Kingdoms. If you're Alliance, it's l literally like it'd take you two minutes to fly here. If you're Horde, you're going to have to take a flight path from the Undercity, and that's probably the easiest way to get here. Um, and yeah, that's really all you need to know. So today, we're going to be farming the raid known as Molten Core. Now, some of you may have heard of this raid before because it is basically infamous for gold farmers. And one of the few reasons why is because some of the items that drop there. Um, and they're actually some of the most uh, most popular fall. and or rare items in the Remember game. The so if we go ahead and we enter Black Rock uh, Mountain, uh, we entered right from the entrance as you saw. And once we get in here, the dungeon, or not dungeon, sorry, raid we want to go to is kind of quite tricky because it's not really shown exactly where it's at in the beginning. But if we look here, it doesn't even show it on the map, so it's kind of confusing. Uh, you really, when you walk in, you just have to fly right here. So you come through this uh, gate, and you just fly right here. And uh, this entrance is a little bit different than normal uh, raids. You actually have to talk the to this NPC here and ask him to us. teleport you to the Molten Core, because there used to be a tournament where they had to make sure you're he ready and you. all that good stuff. But as soon as you talk to him, he will let you enter the Molten Core. So... You give me one second. And yes, you can't be mounted. So, this farm is good for three reasons, and three reasons only, really, and one reason actually I was not aware of until actually another YouTuber by the name of Sharkin actually uploaded a video on it himself, which I had never thought to do. So, just so you know, I got this idea, this video idea from Sharkin, and also look at that. My thing's glitching out like completely. That's so weird. Okay, that was weird. But, so, as we see, when we first walk in, there's a bunch of mobs. So, these mobs all have chances to drop epic loot, but also so do the bosses, so you're going to want to kind of farm everything. So, first things first, the one item we're kind of really, like, praying for, really, I don't want to say, like, expecting to get, but kind of praying for, is actually Tibu's Blazing Longsword. If you guys don't know what that is, it's actually one of the rarest RNG items in the game, and it actually does have a chance to drop from Molten Core, which is actually pretty cool, and if you do get the item to drop, you are going to make about a million dollars, or a million gold, sorry, uh, in World of Warcraft, which is pretty good, uh, if you ask me. Um, I definitely recommend you come farm this now. Also, the next thing we have is actually called Blood of the Mountain, which is actually a um, vanilla mat for crafting uh, back in the day and it actually creates some quite cool transmog please or pieces now so it definitely sells in the auction house and then the last thing we're gonna be farming is actually um, <coughs> sorry about that uh, dark iron uh, ore which spawns all throughout this entire dungeon um, as uh, or sorry, uh, the video I learned from uh, Sharkin, another fellow YouTuber, actually showed me about a uh, add-on called Gathermate, which actually shows you all the nodes that spawn within the dungeon of uh, this ore. And this ore right now is going for about 200 a piece on my server. So on your server, if you actually have auctions up, you can probably expect the ore to end up being around 50 gold a piece. I think is around the average for uh, most servers. And really all you have to do is have mining and you just kind of run around and loot all the nodes because they will be shown on your map so you'll know exactly where they're at. Um, as you can see, I actually just got Blood of the Mountain so I can show you exactly how much that, that is worth. And also I got a Lava Core which happens to sell on the Auction House as well. And sorry about that, I had to kill all these first before uh, TSM will actually show me the item of that. And as you can see, oh, I killed that last one. There we go. Okay, so Blood of the Mountain right now is going for about 4,000 on my server, so you can kind of see how well that actually is doing. And let me see if we can find our other mat in here. I don't know, somewhere. There it is. Lava Core, it's going for about one gold, so you can actually sell those on the auction house as well. But remember, the main thing we want is Ghost or er, Dark Iron Dwarf, or er, or sorry about that. Um, it's really easy to find if you don't have GatherMate, but I definitely recommend installing the add-on GatherMate. I will have a link in the description uh, below to GatherMate if you want to install it. I actually have installed it uh, 
I want to say after this video goes up because I didn't know about it until now and now I know so uh, I've been farming this dungeon with it uh, basically religiously from now uh, you know at the time you're seeing this and uh, that's really it about this dungeon you kind of just want to go in pick up everything trash trash run it and that's really all there is to it there is no one easy way to farm this mob for trash if you want to go about the most simple easiest way to kill everything it's really just follow this path that i'm showing you because it has the most mob density and boss density so you actually have a chance of getting some uh, quite good uh, gear just from running that if you don't want to run the entire thing but i do recommend you run the entire thing because i've seen people come out with t just tons and tons of gold uh, i personally take this path right here because uh, really I'm kind of just trying to get uh, some of the rare transmog pieces to drop because I'm mainly kind of a transmog seller but also in the same fact I also don't have mining yet uh, but you can actually mine the iron ore in this farm at level one uh, it won't level up your mining but you actually will uh, get you know have the ability to mine the ore that is in here which is really all you need. You don't really need to level up mining unless you're going to use it for BFA, which I recommend you do. So maybe do level up mining. But that's really it for this farm. I kind of explained everything to you guys. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. I am actually going to cut the video now and we're going to go to uh, one of the major cities. I'm just going to explain what you can do with all this drops you get from here. Um, and what they're used for and just good stuff like that so check out that at the end of the video uh, if you want to and also I always leave like any little hints and tips and tricks uh, for the, after I cut the video so if you want to check those out you stay tuned and you can get all those and uh, yeah that's really it um, so yeah I'm gonna cut the video now and we'll see you after that and also make sure you check out check out the links in the description I have to plug myself I'm sorry because I'm a youtuber and this is how it is but I love you all and I cut the video now everybody we're back after that cut and now I'm just gonna kind of explain why we needed to farm some of the items and what exactly you can do with them to make them worth more money for you and uh, yeah basically just all that good stuff and also the add-ons that you guys need uh, as well also just to make your life easier so first things first the one item that we were looking for in the dungeon was actually tibu's blazing longsword so we're gonna look that up just on my server just to show you guys what the price is as you can see the price on my server is extremely volatile as you can see people are like trying to under undercut each other and stuff but if the if this on your server is literally like anything less than a hundred thousand gold i'd be like very surprised because it's quite a hard item to obtain rng wise and uh, this is a very good transmog piece that sells off quite quickly if you're actually able to uh, get one of them to drop. As you can see, these prices are kind of representative of most servers. Uh, I think most of them actually end up like this after people start trying to farm the item. Because they start dropping and people are undercutting and all that good stuff. After I post this video, prices might change on yours though, just so you know, because a lot more people are going to start farming this. So keep that in mind. You may want to go farm this now. Uh, just again as a warning you guys probably already know but just letting you know also the second item that we were looking for was the blood of the mountain which we will show you real quick uh, blood of the mountain is actually a crafting reagent where you're able to craft some of like the oldest mats in the game into uh, gear and a lot of people do that because this is required to make a lot of or a lot of transmog gear so if you have something like a tailor or something go ahead and check and make sure you don't have any uh, patterns that you know you should be so on my server right now one server right now one is going for like at least uh 2700 gold which is quite good and uh it has an eight percent chance to drop every time you run molten core so normally you end up with about two or three of these out of molten core anyways and uh these actually do sell off a little bit quicker than the rest of the mats just because they're much easier to come by um, also the last iron er, item, I guess item, yeah, that I mentioned was uh, dark iron ore, which on my server, uh, you guys have seen this video now before uh, I farmed it, obviously, because right now this is my market and there is only one guy selling it. So if your market looks like this, go do this farm instantly because you're able to just buy up whatever he has and charge whatever your price you want, especially at the average sell rate, daily sold, 21. So people are still looking for these and this guy's only got two. So as you can see here, 
Uh, just so you know, you're watching this now, but I have farmed the crap out of this now, and now my auction house is probably all the way down here. Um, yeah, so if if it, if you ever see this on your auction house, uh, especially with a daily sold, even if the daily sold's at least 10 and there's only one guy posting stuff, buy his out and just go farm it yourself because you'll be able just to make tons of gold off of it. Uh, that's all. That's also one of the little tricks. Uh, I don't know if they teach you in uh, World of Warcraft, but that's definitely some, something you should uh, be doing as well. And uh, yeah, that's really it. Um, so if you did like the video, uh, just leave me a like, comment, subscribe, maybe. Uh, I guess if you really liked it, subscribe. Uh, also, make sure you check out the links in the description below because you can buy Battle for Azeroth for the cheapest anywhere on the internet right now. You can look below, get that. Also, I've got all the links to my computer gear, hardware, like everything from software to good stuff. So if you just thought maybe start thought maybe starting a YouTube channel, you guys actually have, uh, you know, a list of everything that I use basically to get decent uh, graphics on World of Warcraft. And yeah, so you guys might like that. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video, and uh, I may or may not have another one coming out tomorrow. I mean, wink, wink. And uh, if you stayed to this point in the video, comment down below. Uh, let's think. Let's think of something funny. Hmm. What should we make you comment? You have to comment Kappa down below if you watch to this point. And I'll favorite your comment because... Or, like, like it or something or shout it out or whatever because you're an OG. You actually like all of my content. So, I'm going to cut the video. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.